What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Flippin' Jigs TV. Today we're out here with this old bike. Um, it's not idling correctly, so I'm gonna keep this short. Try, well, it's not really short, but I'm gonna show you guys what I do to fix this bike when it's not idling like it should be or it's bogging. So if you're having this problem, be sure to stay all the way to the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think about this video and want to see more like this. Um, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like on this video. Show me you guys like these things, and I'll keep doing them. So, uh, I appreciate the view. Stay tuned to the end of the video, and, uh, let's roll the intro. Okay, so you got a short bolt, a slightly longer bolt, and then a really long bolt, which I'm about to pull that now. But the short bolt goes in the top toward the gas tank. Gas tank, the slightly longer bolt goes in the bottom right here. And then this one right here is the really long one, uh, the longest one that's holding this cover on. Uh, you got that right here. So, that's that. All right. So, you got this side cover off this over there. Right here is your carburetor. Um, and this is where stuff gets interesting. <laughs> uh, this is your this is your carburetor right here. Um, that's your intake tube thing right there. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but I know what it does. It's all that matters. Um, this, of course, is your uh, choke right here. And then your carb, your actual carb is right here. So I gotta take all this off. Um, the way this works, I'm gonna have to take uh, this fuel line right here off, and these other few lines, like this one right here. This is just a uh, this one right here. It's just a vent tube, and it's also got one on the other side. Uh, it took me forever to figure out where them tubes even were. I thought they plugged back into the motor somewhere. They didn't. So. You're welcome, because you can't find it anywhere. But these are vent tubes. So, you got one, I'll show you a closer thing once I get this out. So, first thing we're gonna do is start taking fuel lines off. Make sure the gas is cut off before you do this. Take the fuel lines off and take this throttle off of here. And, um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. Alright, first thing we're going to do is take this fuel line right here off, so it's just a little clamp, grab this car, and pull it back. Uh, easiest way to get these off, grab it right at the end, and just work it back and forth, it'll pop right off just like that. Uh, like I said, on this specific bike, you ain't got to take them all off of there. 
Um, but I am gonna go ahead and get them out of anything that can get snagged on. When I can pull it out, it should come on out. So I have two on this specific bike here, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull them both out. Alright, next thing is gonna be really this can come off. It'll make it a, a, a lot easier to get this off, but we don't necessarily need it. Um, Next thing, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this clamp up right here, so I'm gonna have to find a screwdriver right quick, and you're gonna pull that hose up. Got a screwdriver Phillips head, so you're gonna wanna loosen this clamp up right here. It's going to your hose two thing right there. If you can't leave the uh, clamp on there, then you can take it off and take it fully apart, and then put it back together. So that's what I'm gonna probably end up doing. So I just have to take that whole screw out and pop it back on. I'm gonna lay that up there where I know where it's at. Alright, oh, got that off. This thing's about ready to come off. Alright, this right here. This right here is your throttle cable. So this uh, throttle was actually stuck on this bike. Um, but I fixed it already. So how that works is basically when you pull the throttle back, tightens that cable up messes with a little pin in here. I'll show you the pin in just a second. There's the pin right there. Like I said, when you when you pull this throttle back, it's gonna be like that. And when you let off of it, it lets that pin in and out of a, a little hole. That's what gives you your fuel to go. So we're gonna pull that over to the side. Next thing, we gotta pull the carburetor from the, the motor itself. So. It's gonna get right here. It's gonna be a uh, uh, five sixteenths. to the bottom of this bowl try to leave it straight up like this this is your vent tubes by the way one of them goes on the bottom of the bowl one of them goes up here you can go ahead and uh loosen these on up we got fuel pouring out of here this is all coming out of the bowl which i'm not too worried about do not lose any of these screws that come out of this thing, or you're going to be SLF. So go ahead and pull that out, drop the bowl. There you go, it's got fuel in it, that's good. You usually do clean this, but I've already cleaned it. I didn't clean the whole carburetor because I don't want to worry about it. Now, here you go. This is your main jet, this is your uh, co-pilot jet. Now, most of the time, your co-pilot jet right here, your co-jet, that's going to be the one that's causing it to fall down. So what you're going to need to get in there is a flathead. So, just got the jet set, the carburetor. Um, if you didn't think I didn't know what I was talking about, look at this. You can look through there. You can see light through it. Hold on. You can kind of see it in the camera, but you can see light through this one. This one, on the other hand, that was your main jet I just showed you. This one right here is your co-jet. Completely clogged. Completely clogged. You can't see any light through it, so that's your issue right there. That's why your bike is either bogging or not running right. This is going to give it 10 times the power it would have had. Completely clogged up, so now I'm going to just try to do everything I can to get it out of here, and we're going to see what happens. So um, first thing, I'm going to try shooting some car cleaner through it. Alright, so we got jets here, your co jet, your main jet. I'm gonna stick these back in here. I got them both cleaned out pretty good. Um, so, your main jet, 
I'm going to stick that back in there. You don't want it to be too tight, but you don't want it to be too loose either. So now go ahead and give it a right good little. Now Alright, same thing with your, your co-jet, get it right in here inside it, put it in there. Don't want it too tight, because you don't want to break it or bend it or mess threads up or anything. Because um, you screw these up, I'm sure you're probably better off to get a whole new carburetor to try to fit, get another one of these. So there we go, got them in there pretty tight, flute's looking good, the rest of the carburetor looks pretty good. I'm going to slap this thing back on here so if we can get it to run. Alright, what is up guys? It's the next day. Um, I know I look like crap. Um, I just took a shower, but uh, it came straight out here. This bike, we uh, found out why the screws weren't going in. The bolts, he actually hit the ground so hard that it knocked the thread right off the end of the bolt. Like, it wasn't even a thread there. And uh, he didn't break the bolt or anything. He just knocked the threads right off the bolt. So, basically, he knocked the whole carburetor off the thing. I don't know, the only thing holding it on there was the the uh, intake hose right there and um so we're gonna crank it up even though I already know what it's doing but I didn't get to show you guys because it was pitch black out here and we were using phone flashlights everything we could to try to slap it back on here but uh, we cranked it up and it still didn't do like it should have so I'm gonna go ahead and crank it up for you guys just so you guys can see. Got the bike right here. You want to make sure it's on. Make sure your gas is on. Um, and then it dies out. So that basically means the idle just isn't there. So. What you're going to need is a flathead screwdriver of some sort. And you're going to want to mess with this right here. This right here is your idle setting adjustment. Alright, so first thing you're going to do, set you guys up right here. First thing you're going to do, and I'm by myself today, so sorry for the filming if it's not exactly like it should be. First thing you're gonna do is take the idle adjustment and you're just gonna tighten it all the way down. Just tighten it all the way down. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna crank it each time that we crank it, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and um do one full turn of the screw, crank it again and see where it's at and see how far we get. So right now with it being as tight it should try to try to uh, just rev up really high. Yep. Alright. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make one full turn. So, let's try it again. I got the bike going. Still ain't idling right at all, but it runs. I lied. That's how you fix the idle problem. So there she is, running, running like it ought to be, looks good, running good, everything seems to be good, 
Um, one thing I do want to show you guys real quick, and I need to get a new cat for this thing, but this right here is a cat. If this cat isn't on, on this little bitten right here, it runs like, yeah. It runs extremely bad. So you just want to make sure that you have this cat on here. And then it should go ahead and idle like it up to. All right, guys. I hope you like this type of video. I hope it helps somebody out. That's mainly what it's for. It's not for entertainment or anything like that. Um, it's mainly for to show you guys how I fix that bike, which is right there and what I done to it to make it. So I'm gonna go do a quick overview of what I done to make it back to what it was after it was wrecked. But um, basically um, I cleaned the jets out real good. Um, really, it still needs a new jet. I tried everything to get it unclogged. It's still pretty clogged. Um, on top of that, it also needs, um, also needs a new cap for it. I kind of got it wrapped in duct tape as you guys seen right now because it's cracked. But um, it's just a temporary fix. I'll get that sooner or later. But um, yeah, so I cleaned the jets and then I uh, cleaned the jets and then I messed with the throttle, the idle setting on the carburetor and I got it right back to what it was doing before. So um, if you guys thought I didn't know what I was talking about, that just goes to show you I know what I'm talking about. Um, I've done two carburetors in my whole life. That would be the second one. <laughs> But um, carburetor is so simple. If you guys ain't never tore one down, you should definitely try it. Don't just throw stuff away for the carburetor. Um, I know a lot of people are scared of it because of that reason. But uh, go ahead and take it apart and give it a shot and see what you do. But uh, I appreciate the view. Stay tuned this weekend. It's currently Friday right now. This weekend is going to be um, bow season in Virginia. So I'm going I'm to sling an arrow this weekend. And... Uh, have it all on camera so you guys will see that sometime probably next week um so stay tuned hunting season's right around the corner i can't wait been looking forward to it so uh, i appreciate you guys for watching if you haven't already be sure to hit that subscribe button down below leave a like on this video let me know if this helped you out in the comments ask me any questions in the comments regarding this situation um if you have any questions about anything video ideas anything let me know there will be some riding videos coming up maybe not on that because we're in the middle of town in south hill um but definitely back at home after hunting season is gone um i definitely will be doing some riding videos so uh yeah guys i guess that's about it for this video so i'll see you guys in the next episode of flipping jigs tv and uh i appreciate you watching so i'll see you guys in the next video later Thank you.